Is this thing even on? This is so goddamn primitive. This is very frustrating. And the program's used. It's... Uh, it doesn't even show you the words that I am saying. It only shows the volume. How pathetic technology used to be. And, uh... Audio log number one. The temporal manipulation was successful. To a degree. My math was apparently off... By around 25 years, here I am, later than I wanted to be. The goal, the goal was to save fighting games. Arc System Works ruined it. I needed to go back in time. I needed to prevent Mori and Daisuke from just destroying the design of fighting games as we know it. From removing all of the depth, all of the effort it takes to be... Everything that makes fighting games fighting games, they killed it. And I needed to fix it. I needed to solve it. I was unsuccessful. My math was incorrect. I came here at the precipice of the change in a position incapable of affecting what I wished to do. And now I must watch it all happen again until the technology exists for me to repeat this process. And all that I am doing is just dividing time. I don't know if it can survive anything. So I have to live practically exactly as I did. Which is just going to be the most miserable affair. Just for posterity's sake. I started out as a computer science major. I changed my mind. Physics was too interesting. And so I, I ran down that path. And I got a PhD my efforts in space-time manipulation were above and beyond anybody else's and I was able to successfully create the ability to travel through time which was believed to be impossible you, you couldn't go back it wasn't something that you could affect in any meaningful manner they said that I was Icarus that I was going to fly too close to the sun and destroy myself, but they were wrong. They were all wrong. And I can't even gloat because I made the biggest mistake of all. I can't even do what I came here to do. It truly is a disappointment. Audio log number two. I believe there will be some questions regarding my decisions. Those decisions can be discussed later because I still have to think about the logistics. I still must figure out the optimal path to take that I can change myself, that I can change my position to better affect the world around me while simultaneously not affecting it to such a degree that I destroy what could become of me, what could become of the world. I need to get back to where I was, which I should be able to do sooner than later, thanks to my accumulated knowledge over the years, that unfortunately, that slate has been wiped clean and I must prove myself again. It will be easier, but it will still be difficult. But that's okay, because it's all in an effort to save fighting games. It, you, you don't know yet where this path leads down, but I do. I've seen it all. It's actually a very surprising state of affairs. The uh, what I call the dumbing down of fighting games hit a real turning point with surprisingly SNK heroines and then Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle followed suit. A man by with the name, the handle, unbelievably that somebody with this handle would be able to actually go to the efforts involved waifu lover 69 i still can't believe it it's still such a goddamn catastrophe that somebody with that name they took these games and they created a nude mod for them a nude mod it caused the games to reach tens of millions of sales of people who couldn't care less about fighting games they used it in the same vein that many have used for instance overwatch they created porn they the artwork rule 34 nonsense was just it exploded my own discord 
my own discord fell to chaos and it devolved into nothing but lewd artwork and I had to leave it it was no longer my discord but that's where fighting games went and the world accepted it at large and unfortunately the developers didn't understand that that was why they didn't understand that the reason people were purchasing these games was for the the mods they weren't purchasing it for the fighting game itself it wasn't because of their decision to design it in a simpler manner that caused all of these sales to occur it was purely and simply people's perversions and it drove these sales into the stratosphere and it got worse and worse with time do you understand how agonizing it was to me to watch fighting games become nothing but a single button affair they even took directional inputs off all that you did was press a button and your character immediately ran into position to throw out this huge chain of attacks people felt so much satisfaction over pressing a single button and getting a 492 hit combo it was pathetic i couldn't stand it i stopped playing fighting games i stopped streaming this youtube thing just became nothing it was so frustrating and there was a glimmer of hope a glimmer of hope when virtual reality truly became what it could become it wasn't just this stupid headset it was true full immersion and you could fight <laughs> you could fight but these pathetic losers that have been sitting around fapping to the new mods they tried it for a single day and realized they had no coordination they had no physical attributes that could positively contribute to this virtual reality simulator because it took what you were and it tried to use that i mean it amplified it made you better but it's still at your core you were limited by your own physical abilities and they didn't have them they were pathetic they took one swing completely missed got knocked out it became this tiny elite few there were around only 16 people still active in this community by the time that i left the zombie simulator was even worse. Everybody always says, Oh, I'm prepared for a zombie apocalypse. If it comes around, I'm going to be the one that lives. I'm going to be the one that's creating a shelter. Zombies can't take me down. <laughs> the game died so quickly. The game died as quickly as the fools who were playing it because it was too realistic. 99.7% of people that played that game failed within the first three days and became zombies. And nobody wanted to continue after that. Nobody wanted to admit how pathetic they were. How hopeless they were. And it died. It should have been so much more successful. It could have it could have actually been something great. But people were too fragile. It's just sad. Audio log number three. I hesitate to discuss this, but I want to make sure my memory remains intact so that when I see what is coming when these events come to pass once again perhaps I can guide them to a better path perhaps something good can come of it but the nude modifications were absolutely insane it, it, the fan service obviously so many games are driven by fan service and the backlash got less and less as people got more frustrated with the idea that any kind of sexualization should be lessened that uh very quickly died out very quickly it just it couldn't come on it's sex you can't keep that down um what was truly surprising was when blaze blue cross tag battle came out and it came to light that these models were fully developed they were not they were anatomically correct and they had been since continuum shift extend that was that was a weird moment of discovery, something that I didn't need uh, to be in my life. But so, it wasn't just the females, it was the males as well. Tager was, was the most surprising of all. Kendall. No genitals to speak of. Where was that in the story mode? That might have made the story mode interesting. Kokonoi probably kept it so she could use it. 
Ugh. Still, that was not... I, I didn't need to see Ragna swinging his sword and having a dick swinging around at the same time. Ugh. Audio log number four. This will probably be the last thing that I need. This is just a thought dump, nothing more. And I think after this, all will be done. I hesitate to actually announce these changes because I don't know how they will go down. But obviously, I know I cannot affect the fighting game world in the manner that I wish to. Not yet. Eventually, I mean, I'll double check the math. I have it all still in my head. I'll never forget it. I'll find the mistake. I'll fix it. I'll go back to where I need to go. And then I can fix everything. It'll be different. None of you will know. None of you will appreciate it. But I'll do it. I'll change. I'll change the world. We'll never go away from what makes fighting games amazing. They will stay amazing. I'll, I'll, I will be put into a position that allows me to prevent these games from happening. To prevent this downward spiral that leads in such a terrible road. Not just for fighting games, but for all of gaming. <laughs> from software went out of business. Can you believe that? They just died. People got so used to just pressing one button to succeed, so they didn't have to use much of their faculties. And they grew so accustomed to it that anything that challenged that failed immediately out the gate. It truly hurt. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. The plans. MOBAs actually explode. You won't believe it, because they're already so popular, right? Some of the biggest tournaments in the world for League of Legends, for Dota... All the developers, Heroes of the Storm, that dies, as it should. Blizzard doesn't know what it's doing with that game, so it's not surprising at all. But League of Legends and Dota 2, they go from, you know, around a million, maybe two, two million viewers for their finals. All of a sudden, a billion people start watching, just out of nowhere. I don't know where it happened. I still don't understand why it happened, but obviously that's where the future is. So I need to figure out how exactly I announce that I am going to become a League of Legends streamer. I'm going to learn Dota on the side, but that game's fucking hard. <laughs> Even to my mind, as brilliant as I am, it's still fucking hard. Because you need to develop the mechanical talent as well. And it is not easy. It is the most complicated MOBA out there right now, but... <laughs> You know how many people became billionaires off of Dota? It's insane. Everybody always, you know, they looked, they didn't, they, too many people ignored the esports world for too long. They didn't understand the threat that it posed to the economy. Everybody always thought, oh, it's these CEOs giving themselves raises, making billions of dollars year over year, just abusing their position, taking the hard earned work of the common man and using it to build themselves up, but. They didn't understand where esports were headed. Nobody did. Nobody saw. So they all became billionaires and they took over the goddamn world. It was actually pretty impressive how they did it. I don't want to talk about it because obviously doing so would just hasten the inevitability of it. It didn't go over well. Could you imagine a bunch of gamers in charge of the world? Volatile group. You, you don't want that to happen. I... Don't want to see it happen again, but there's nothing I can do about it here. But still, to be a League of Legends streamer, that's what I'm going to have to do. If it works out, I could possibly become one of them. Maybe I can affect that change from that position instead. Forget the fact, forget the, the plan that I have now. Who knows? I don't know. Time will tell. <laughs> 